Hello guys, welcome back to Ingenious Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston, Chapter 2. The problem says that two forces are applied is shown to a hook support. Knowing that the magnitude of P is 35 Newton, determined by trigonometry, the required angle alpha if the resultant R of the two forces applied to the support is to be horizontal and the corresponding magnitude of r so we are given a hook and we are given two forces we are given this 50 newton force which is acting at an angle of 25 degrees and we are given this p force whose magnitude is 35 newton and we have to find this angle alpha if the resultant of both of these is in the horizontal direction so this is the resultant so we have to find uh, this force p uh, angle with the horizontal so now we are given that the resultant of both of these forces is horizontal must be horizontal so if we add um, this 50 newton force and this p force by head to tail rule they must give us a resultant which need to be horizontal so let's say that this is my 50 newton force and which is acting at an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal let's say let's say this is my horizontal line and this angle is this angle is 25 degrees and and let's say that this is my p force which need to be aided with 50 newton force by head to tail rule and the sum of both of these forces by head to tail rule this is 50 newton force and this is that p force and so the resultant of both of these must be horizontal so the resultant must be like this so let me draw the resultant so this will be the resultant force so the resultant must be horizontal and this p force has a magnitude of 35 newton and we are given that we have to find angle alpha this angle alpha so now if i draw a line here so this angle is angle alpha so now if this is horizontal line and if this is horizontal line so if this angle is alpha then this angle is alpha since both of these angles are alternate angles so we can say that this is that angle alpha so we have to find this angle alpha so now we can apply the law of sines and we can say that sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is this which is 50 newton so sine of alpha divided by 50 equals to the sine of 25 degrees divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so this is 35 newton so divided by 35 multiplying both sides of the equation by 50 50 will cancel out and we will get the sine of alpha value so that is a uh, sine of 25 multiply by 50 divided by 35 so this gives me 0 0.604 so sine of alpha is 0 0.6037 let's say and if i take the sine inverse of this answer that will give us angle alpha so shift sine inverse oh, and it is divided by 35 uh, shift sine inverse of that answer so alpha is approximately 37 degrees so we can say that alpha is sine inverse of this 0 0.6037 and this is approximately equal to 37 degrees so now we know that angle alpha whose value was required this angle alpha is 37 degrees so now if 35 newton force is acting at an angle of 37 degrees with the horizontal so the sum of this 50 newton force and that 35 newton force must be a horizontal vector now we have to find the resultant magnitude again uh, we can find the resultant magnitude if we apply the sine's law now if we know this angle alpha this is 37 degrees approximately so we we know this angle as well so is we know let's say that this angle is theta and we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 
So we can say that theta plus alpha plus 25 degrees, this must be equals to 180 degrees. And similarly, theta is equal to 180 minus 25 minus alpha. And alpha is now known, which is 37 degrees. So 180 minus 25 minus 37, this gives me 118. So theta equals to 118 degrees. Now we know angle theta, we can apply again the sine's law to find the resultant magnitude. This time we can say that R divided by sine of theta, the opposite angle is theta. So R divided by the sine of theta and theta is 118 equals to uh, P force that is 35 Newton divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So this P force divided by the sine of the opposite angle is 25. So sine of 25. Now multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 118. This cancel out and we will get the resultant magnitude. So the resultant magnitude is 35 multiplied by sine of 118 divided by sine of 25. This gives me R magnitude equals to 73.12 or we can say that it is approximately 73 Newton. So this is the solution of uh, this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston.